today we will solve the problem uh, 4.16 and 4.17 uh, from chapter 4 of uh, Griffith third edition introduction to quantum mechanics uh, first the problem 4.16 is what is the most probable value of r in the ground state of hydrogen the answer is not zero that is also given hint first you must figure out the probability of the electron that would bound between r and r plus dr so the ground state uh, wave function of hydrogen atom is psi is equal to 1 over uh, square root of pi uh, pi into a power 3 e power minus r over a now the probability is uh, probability of finding the particle between r and r plus tr is uh, equal to uh, modulus pi square power pi r square this is the area multiplied by a t r uh, now here you can see we can cancel out this pi and this pi so uh, naturally here you have one four of four uh, so this will become 4 divided by a cube already a cube is there then in this exponential term e power minus 2 r uh, over uh, a multiplied by r square tr that is which is equal to uh, p of r uh, tr uh, that is probability uh, at, uh, of finding the particle at r multiplied by tr naturally this pr will be uh, this TR, TR will get cancelled. So this will become uh, 4 by A cube uh, e power minus 2R uh, over A uh, multiplied by A square. Here this uh, 2 comes because we are taking modulus squared. If you take square of e power minus R over A, this will become e power minus 2R uh, over A. Now we got the expression that P of R is equal to 4 by uh, A cube e power minus 2R over A multiplied by R squared. Now in order to find the maximum probability, the if you differentiate this P R with respect to R, it must be equal to 0. So you differentiate this. Uh, since 4 by A cube is a constant, you take out. First you differentiate this r squared so which will become uh, 2r then you keep uh, exponential term as it is then next uh, you keep r squared as it is uh, so I, I am keeping r squared as it is and uh, this uh, exponential term differentiate the exponential term if you differentiate the ex exponential term you will get uh, minus 2 uh, minus 2 over a uh, e power minus uh, 2 r a uh, because you are differentiating this uh, argument of the exponential then you will get minus 2 pi a uh, so uh, now uh, you can uh, take this uh, 2 here you have one 2 here also 2 so 2 you take as a common uh, then this 4 will become 8 and here you have r uh, here you have r uh, r squared here you have r squared you uh, take r as common then this will become r we have taken r e power minus 2r over r we have taken so the first term will be 1 next uh, we will ha uh, have the here one r because one r we have taken out r uh, divided by a and the exponential term also we have taken out uh, then here you can see uh, it is equal to it must be equal to zero only possibility is this uh, terms inside the bracket must be equal to zero that is one minus r over a is equal to zero or r over a is equal to 1 uh, so the r is equal to uh, a so you will get the maximum probability when r is equal to a uh, 
Uh, so this is the answer we can find most probable uh, uh, probable uh, value at uh, four radius equal to r sorry equal to a uh, so with this uh, conclusion we will move to the problem 4.17 now uh, we will see the problem 4.17 the problem is uh, calculate uh, expectation value of Z H cat and Z in the ground state of hydrogen. Here H is a Hamiltonian op operator. Given hint is this takes uh, two pages and six integrals or uh, four lines and no integral depending on how you set, up, set it up. To do it quick way, start by noting that uh, the commutation of Z uh, uh, with the commutation of HZ is equal to 2ZHZ minus HZ square minus Z square H. So uh, we have to, we can take this straight away. But in, uh, here we are going to prove it, in fact, this relation. First, we will uh, take the commutation of Z with uh, HZ. Uh, uh, with the uh, commutation of HZ. So first uh, for, uh, to simplify this problem, you take first this inner commutation relation, that is uh, commutation of HZ. So commutation of HZ I am taking up. So uh, this is uh, P squared over 2M plus B. You know very well that uh, potential uh, energy will uh, commute with uh, the radial coordinate. So I, I can ignore the potential term here. So only term is P squared over 2M. Here 1 over 2M is constant. So I am taking 1 over 2M uh, outside. And uh, remaining term is commutation of P Z squared with Z. Uh, so uh, this uh, commutation relation I can expand uh, as shown in the curly bracket. Uh, this p squared can be written as pz squared can be written as pz into pz. So I am taking the left hand side pz outside and the commutation of uh, pz uh, with z plus the uh, commutation of pz uh, with z. I have taken the right hand side pz to the right hand side. Now you know this commutation pz to z is equal to minus i h cross. Uh, similarly, this term, this term also minus i h cross. This is also minus i h cross. So this will become uh, minus uh, minus i uh, two i h cross p z because here is i h cross here minus i h cross. So minus two i h cross p z. Uh, so now you can uh, cancel this 2 and this 2. So uh, then you left with here minus i h cross uh, over the m. Uh, of course, this uh, pz. Uh, then now we will calculate the computation of z with the computation of h with z. So the computation of uh, h with uh, z, uh, this one, h with we know that uh, that is uh, minus i h cross over m p z. So I am replacing this by this one. So uh, now I can take minus i h cross over m because it's a co constant. I am replacing this commutation by minus i h h cross over m p z. So since uh, minus i h cross over m uh, is a constant I am taking out, then remaining thing is z with p z, commutation of z with p z, which is equal to, here you know this uh, commutation relation is uh, plus i h cross. Here it is minus i h cross. We have the uh, there is interchange in the param parameter, so this is plus i h cross. So plus i h cross into i h cross, uh, you will get uh, uh, minus i h uh, minus i squared h cross squared minus i squared 
sorry, I squared, uh, if you multiply I squared with uh, I, I H cross with I H cross, you will get I squared uh, H cross squared. So I squared is minus one, already there is one minus, so this will become plus. So H cross squared uh, here over the M. So the entire commutation relation is equivalent to H cross squared over the M. Then we will uh, simplify it further. So uh, just now we have seen this commutation uh, is equal to H cross squared over M. Uh, now you expand this. Uh, this H with Z, uh, commutation of H with Z can be written as H Z minus Z H. So if you take uh, commutation of this and this, you will get Z uh, multiplied by H Z minus Z H minus this one. That is a, a computation of A with P is equal to A B minus P A. Here P is H uh, Z minus uh, uh, Z H uh, A is Z, which is equal to according to this relation H cross squared over M. H cross squared over M. Now uh, you can uh, expand this uh, left hand side. This is Z H Z Z H Z. This Z and uh, this Z is equal to Z squared H. Remember that I am not uh, interchanging the operator. Then you come to this side. Here you have minus H Z into Z, which is equal to minus H Z squared. And minus of minus will become plus, uh, which will become uh, plus Z H Z. So this is uh, plus Z H Z. So here first term also uh, Z plus H Z. If you add these two, you will get two times Z H Z. And I'm keeping uh, these two term as it is. That is uh, second and third term. I'm keeping as it is. Now, uh, except first term, you bring all other term uh, to the uh, right hand side. So this will become plus, uh, that is H squared over M plus uh, Z squared uh, H plus H uh, Z squared. Uh, when you bring these two here to the right hand side, this will become 1 by 2. Now you know Z is, uh, Z H Z is equal to this one. Uh, and uh, also, we have seen this formula in the way. This is given in the problem itself. Uh, that is, uh, H, uh, this computation is equal to this one, which is given in the uh, problem. So don't, uh, don't worry about this. Now we got the value for Z, H, uh, Z. We will reduce it further. Uh, now we have seen that Z, H, Z is equal to this one. Now, the, what about the expectation value of this left hand side? Uh, you take term by term. First term is a constant, so expectation value is simply H square, H cross squared over M. Uh, the expectation value of Z squared H is equal to uh, bra side Z squared H uh, and catch side. Uh, same thing is with this. Now you remember that uh, this. Uh, when H act on the get side, you will get the energy eigenvalue E. Uh, let us say that is E1. Uh, E1. Uh, then uh, we can take E1 outside uh, because it's a constant. This will give you E1 uh, get side. So E1 you can take out. This will become E1 broad Z, uh, Z squared get sorry, pra, uh, psi, uh, z squared uh, gets psi. So, because we have taken E1 outside. Similarly, here, uh, Hamiltonian is Hermes, uh, Hermesian operator. Hence, uh, this H will act on the bra vector, which will uh, give you the bra psi uh, E1, E1 bra psi. This will give you uh, E1 bra psi. Uh, so, this will give you E1 uh, bra psi. 
So we can uh, remove this kachu and hachai I can bra. Uh, it gives e1. So this will become uh, bra sai uh, z squared uh, get sai. Uh, same thing is here. Uh, we are removing this uh, hatch and bringing this u1 eigenvalue outside this uh, inner product. So this will become two times e1 psi z squared uh, get psi. Uh, so now this is uh, what is this? This is nothing but the expectation value of z squared expectation value of z squared in the case of a hydrogen atom you know this e1 uh, that is uh, this value e1 is equal to uh, minus that is very important negative minus uh, h cross squared uh, over 2m a squared and uh, the expectation value of uh, z squared is a squared uh, so I have taken a squared. Now here, this a squared, a squared will get cancelled. A squared, a squared will get cancelled. Uh, that is a squared, a squared. Naturally, this is h uh, cross squared over 2m minus h cross squared over 2m, which is equal to 0. So the expectation value of the z h is 0. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.